Okay, in this video I'm just going to quickly show you how to to upgrade um, Nextcloud from version 9 to version, um, well, it's 11, but I'll be doing 10 first to show you why it doesn't quite work. So at the moment, if we go into admin, just check the version, you can see that it is version 9.1.3 stable. And I've seen other videos where people have, oh, where, well, sorry, where someone has actually done an upgrade. And basically they showed you how to do it the hard way because they um, used FileZilla FTP in order to upload the files and it took forever. So what I'm going to do is to show you the quick way how to do it. Okay, so there we have nine installed. So now I'm just going to go into the virtual machine. Well, first of all, we're just going to get hold of the new version. Okay, so what you do is you go to the own cloud site. Or should I say next cloud, sorry. Now, of course, what you think is that since this is version nine that we're going from that we want to upgrade to version 10 so we might as well give it a try so if you go for the old version and we look down 10 we have here 10 uh, zero 02 so what we do is if we get that um file and then basically download it to the to the server And basically the way the upgrading instructions work is that they say that you should um, delete all the files except for the um, config and then copy the new files over. So basically I, in, on my server or this virtual machine where I have a midnight commander installed. So if you do MC, if you just um, install MC on either if you're running DB or CentOS, then just type MC, press return, and you get a nice interface. This is in the SSH session as well. So you don't have to be concerned about typing commands all the time. And so what we do is if you basically go to the where the files are, where, where the files on the web server are, and what you can do is you can actually press the insert key on the keyboard and it actually allows you to select the files which is sure a lot easier than trying to type it in manually or even waiting for half an hour for files in it to delete all the files so I selected all those files with insert press F8 select all and then that's it they're deleted so now all we have to do is press return on the new version and then what it does it actually goes into the tar bzip file and without even having to extract anything we can just select select the files all except config And then we just use F5 to copy them over. And there you go. And that's a lot quicker than the half hour they're taking using FileZilla. So now, what that should mean, we should be ready to do an upgrade. So let's see what happens. So now we're in, back to our own cloud instance. And if we see what it says now, Right, and there you go. So there's the first surprise for you. That was version 10 of Nextcloud. And it actually says here that it can't downgrade to 
0.2.2. So actually, own cloud 10.0.2 is really, sorry, next cloud 10.0.2 is really own cloud 9.1.2.2. So you can't actually upgrade from 9.1.3 to 10.0.2. So of course, so back we go. So what we essentially have to do now is so we come out of where we unzip the files and what we now have to do is just go to all the trouble and just delete everything again except for config using the insert key so f8 to delete yes, and then all so that's how far has gone so now so now we know how that works what we have to do then is try the next version. So let's try next cloud 11. So, so, so I presume this must be, I don't know, version 9.5 or something. Who knows? So let's see what happens. So we'll copy that link. Download it to the server. Okay, so now back into Midnight Commander. So now if you open up Next Cloud 11, and navigate back to where our web server files are. So now you think. So press insert, so everything except config again. F5 to copy. So now you think that everything should be fine. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we go back. Press return. And hey presto, now version 11 requires 5.6. So the moral of this story so far is that if you're going to do an upgrade, don't do it on your live site because now suddenly everything will be dead and, and you, well, you might be panicking unless you actually know what to do next. So basically now we have to go to all the trouble of upgrading our, um, PHP because if we don't, then basically our next cloud is dead and, and that's it. We can't go any further. Okay, and so you find that yeah, now your system's messed up. So what you now do, we have to go and find PHP 5.6 for CentOS. So first thing we have to do is to get the um, repository configuration file. And so we can go to this link and basically uh, download it. Yes, we want the one for CentOS. So now with that installed, we now can go into And go to his other site where he gives the instructions of how to actually enable it. So if you go down, we want PHP 5.6. Right, so, so basically, um, you do the first command, which is this one, and then, but you don't want to do yum update, because if you do yum update, then everything gets installed. So what you actually want to do is just do um, yum 
update the PHP. Press return. And there you have it. So now we install a new version of PHP. So now we wait while that installs. Okay, these messages are just because the old, the old files are being removed. But it's running PHP while the old files are still there. Okay, so now check what version of PHP is the default. And you see it's 5.6. But obviously that's still not going to work because we have to restart the um, the web server. Okay, so that's start restarted. So now if you go back to uh, Nextcloud, success. So finally, you've updated from nine point one point three. Or, well, almost. So basically, if you go up to 11, you better make sure you have PHP 5.6 installed first before you actually do the upgrade. And of course, make sure it's not on your production server either. Okay, so we're going to start the updates. As you can see, a couple of applications have been disabled. There we have it. And it seems like our files are still there. Although because calendar and documents have been disabled, what you'll find is if you had anything in there, um, the files will still be there, but the applications will be gone. But there you have it. So now we check the version. And there you go, so we're on 11.00, even though in reality that's probably 9.5 something. But, so now you know, if you're running 9.13, you cannot upgrade to 10, you have to go straight to 11. And uh, hopefully this video will help you to save some time and not go down the wrong route. Okay, see you.